we got that. All right, and now we're opening the eight million program. Actually, hold on. We lower the number. Wait a minute. This is my next project right here. Getting this. Hey, we're implanted into that. That'd be good stuff. Excuse me. All right, is everything good? Boop, boop, boop. We're live. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. I need to show that off to you. Okay. More demos. More demos. More demos. More demos. More. Yeah, it's just your gelatin. That's your gelatin skeleton. I was gonna start a, a real game today, but then I was like, oh crap, I didn't give it like any thought over the weekend because it was I was trying to wind down. Cause I had a panic moment right whenever I went to go publish the program. <laughs> I went to go clean up the code. I'm like, okay, let's go remove all the consoles and all the, the comments from there because they're not necessary before I publish this. And then whenever I did that, uh, I inadvertently also changed the name from desktop overlay to stream desktop overlay because I felt like the stream part was probably like more informative. And uh, whenever I did that, I, I broke the program temporarily because it was the, the title for the program is stream desktop or was desktop overlay and it was looking for that in the title for this window so I kept closing and it freaked me the fuck out I'm like oh no oh no oh no oh everything's ruined oh god oh god and then I, I figured it out like 10 minutes later after a panic attack I'm like oh fuck <laughs> so yeah you know I just I wanted to spend the rest of the weekend just like relaxing <laughs> I'm like, please, I put so much work into this last bit. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So, we got, of course, our overlays here. We go doot, 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 doot. Alright, let's turn those off for now. Uh, and then, uh, oh no. Eh, okay, we'll, we'll give it a second. He'll, he'll, he'll understand, he'll understand. Alright, so we got our, we got our Twitch window right here. Rip no display for some messages. Hold on, I'll, I'll get I'll get to it in a second. I'll get to it in a second. I broke it. I definitely broke it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll I'll replay any that I miss. I wanted to show off like how this works real quick. All right, so we have uh, we have the launch overlays button, and that just launches the overlay. Oh, uh, you can click through it. And then you'll see who deserves your theater. And then you can make it interactable, and that allows Kill you to interact man. with it. <laughs> Ah, spoilers! Uh, Alright, reroll. I like that one. There it's we been go. horrible, but like, he has one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so the reason make interactable and movable windows are the way that they are, um, I was gonna make it so that you could just click this button and then be able to move it. Uh, Hi, zombie! Uh, the reason that these two have to be different is apparently, if a window has transparency, which, if you have an overlay, the window needs transparency so that you can see through it. Uh, like for, for stream elements and all that. Uh, you cannot re-enable the title bar while that's active. So, what you have to do is you have to recreate the window. And, if you recreate the window... Uh, then that means that everything that you did while you're in, ma interacting with it uh, gets reset because it's recreating the window. So make interactable is its own little thingy so that you can like maybe you wanna maybe you wanna have a YouTube video up here, 
All right, you can set up the YouTube video. Just disable interaction. And now it's there. I'm not sure if I can adjust opacity enough. I have to double check that. But yeah, so you can have uh, opaque windows. And then relaunching sets all the settings that have changed right here. Um, now, movable windows. Well, you can move it around. Hello. If you don't like what you, what you did, like if it ended up over here on your second monitor and you don't like that, you can relaunch it. And it'll, it won't save the, the changes. Uh, if you, you click the little save window button. And now that is this new uh, position and it saves to the, the, the document down here. You can move the, the thingies up and down now. You can remove them. Uh, if you remove them. Arkla! <laughs> um, if you remove them, then they're gone. There's no way to undo that. No, no I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I think you gotta like crash the program to not uh, to, uh, to make it not save. Because whenever you click the X button, it's gonna save uh, anything over here that has a URL. So if you want to make sure that you save something, make sure that it has a URL. Exactly. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that covers everything. I think it covers everything. You have a little add button to add like more overlays. You have uh, enable disable. So if you if you sometimes want something and don't want it, uh, yeah, you just click the relaunch button and it'll close that window. And uh, maximized is exactly what it says. Uh, instead of taking these values, it like launches it and then does this. Okay, well not that. <laughs> Does this? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what am I calling the overlay? I'll just stream desktop overlay. I don't know. If it feels right. It is. It is that. It's. It's accurate to what it does. That's the best name I could come up with. I'm not gonna give it some weird name because I don't. Orangutan. I don't know. Is it like it? Just stream desktop overlay work for me. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, that's exactly what it does. It turns the desktop, it makes the the stream overlays desktop. <laughs> um, uh, uh, well, one final note. Uh, this can, in fact, launch on separate monitors. Uh, so you can put this over here on your second monitor, and if you save that window position, you'll notice that the X position is way the fuck over there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is now full screen on my second monitor because I maximized it so yeah uh, yeah that's that's the program that's the program uh, now I did make it so that if the window is movable it isn't always on top but if if it is locked into position, like it's actually launches an overlay, it will in fact always be on top. And uh, the reason why you can tab out is in case you uh, somehow uh, break it and lose interactive, or uh, <laughs> you know, you want to save, like the, the, it's so you can get to this and then save the window position. But. Dang it, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, now, like, it's not interactable because it launches an overlay. I can interact with the Tangia behind it. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. The only other thing that I was thinking of is maybe, like, having layouts so that you could load different preferences, like, different, uh, Thingies. And that's like the last thing that I think of. I think that this is everything that's necessary. The last thing I really got to do is clean up this and make it look better. But I'm a function over form person, so I was just like, eh, it works. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I got to go learn a lot more about HTML to make things look good. <laughs> All right. Aye, 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 aye.
Now then, where were we? But this was something that I had wanted for a long time because I thought it was always a... Uh, like, I wanted to be able to see the, like, alerts and stuff. I know a lot of big streamers probably won't care about that because they get, like, thousands or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot coming through, so it might get annoying for them. But, um... There are some cool applications that you can do to this. Um, for instance, if I, if I thought this out correctly, there's a website called video.ninja. It used to be called obs.ninja, but uh, I guess obs didn't, didn't like that, so they changed the name of it. So it's called Video Ninja, and what you can do is you can add your obs camera, or you can add your camera to obs, or you can remote screen share stuff and if you capture this uh, if you capture an application through this or a camera through this you could have like your VTuber model if it's uh, being projected to a camera or if it's projected to like its own application you can grab it through uh, through this option and uh, you can paste that link over here and now like you have like your you have your avatars like actually on your desktop now. So like you can interact with uh with all that. And I thought that was kind of neat. I thought that'd be kind of like a, an extra level of interact cuz now you actually see yourself as you're doing things. I was like that'd be cool. That'd be neat. I think it work. Yeah, it'd even work with like regular webcams too cuz like again, that outputs a an HTML and that'll come up in here. And you can paste the URL. But I just want to be able to see alerts, so that's why I made this. <laughs> and then we'll expand on it from there. Try and get uh, all the functionality of uh, our fireballs in there, too. We'll get that, but we're not quite there yet. Because now i got to figure out a way to get that. I, I, I got, like, a pretty decent idea what to do with that. It's just, like, making divs and all that on the fly with uh, JavaScript. And then putting them in the right location. <laughs> Following the philosophy of mediocrity. <laughs> if you're putting it out there for people, it needs a catchy name. Eh. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd name it if uh, if I didn't name it this. I'm gonna try the overlay out sometime this week. Can this give a blue screen? I have not blue screened in all of my testing. I have done some really, really funky stuff. Uh, worst case scenario was I uh, I crashed the program. Like the program itself like crashed. Uh, it, uh, now the way that it happened before was the overlay stayed launched, uh, but this main window went away and all you gotta do in order to fix that is just close out. You, you just close out. You, you just right click on the, the windows up there and you close them out individually. But whenever you click the close button up here, it closes out all these as well. Or you can control W the window. Uh, control W in, uh, with any of the windows in focus. No, no. Let me make that clear. With any of the windows in focus, because normally these windows aren't interactable. Uh, can I show that? Do, 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 do. Come here. We're on a desktop. Okay, yeah, let's, let's drop Tangia. There we go. Now I can drag. There we go. Alright, uh... Now currently it creates like a page for each one. Might work on this too. Might make it all just like one web page and then have them all like layered on top. But this was the, the quickest and easiest way that I could find to do this. Uh, cause this works. Uh, I'm not sure if it works properly if I combine them all into one web page and uh... Yeah. But! Uh, sometimes this would get closed and then these would be left up and all you got to do is just, you just right click them. That's all you got to do, you just, you just right click them. And that closes out those individual windows. Alright. Uh, I think that's everything in the program. Then I want to talk about this Final Fantasy list that I thought was funny. <laughs> no, come on. 
for some magic pixel. There it is. Over here. No. Okay. Come on. Try it again. Over here. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so. What Final Fantasy game should you play first? Oh, right. I forgot those two. All right, hold on. Hold on. I didn't... Well, I, 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 hold on. I got distracted. I distracted myself. That's what was... I'm glad I had stream elements open on the right. Hold on. Wait for it. Lift. And we're all adrift together. Together. Doubles return. Sabe! Thanks for 44 months. <laughs> and wait for it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ. And where there is fairy energy, <laughs> there are bound to be fairy godparents. S bit connect. <laughs> it's for 43 months of it. <laughs> all right all right all right that's what i was thinking too that's what i was thinking too i was like where do you start on final fantasy you start with one duh and i was like wait i got thrown a wrench it's not final fantasy one you know which final fantasy it is that's right it's final fantasy strangers of paradise <laughs> i'm like oh crap no hold on i think they're right <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Control. <laughs> they got me on a technical. They got me on a technical. All right, all right. So Final Fantasy, then Final Fantasy two, then Final Fantasy three, Final Fantasy four, then Final Fantasy five, then Final Fantasy six, and then what do you think comes next? I thought, you know, I in, in my infinite wisdom, I thought Final Fantasy seven, of course. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Ooh, close, close, close. It is. Uh, it is actually still Final Fantasy VII, but it's Final Fantasy VII. That's right, Crisis Core. <laughs> and then you go into regular Final Fantasy VII, and then Final Fantasy VIII, and then Final Fantasy IX, and then Final Fantasy X, and then Final Fantasy X two, and then Final Fantasy Lightning Return. Or er, hold on, wait. Oh shit, my bad. I jumped the gun. Jump shark. All right, and then Final Fantasy XI. Can you believe it? And then Final Fantasy. <laughs> It's just all the Final Fantasy in order after that. <laughs> 13, 2, uh, <laughs> Lenny Returns, 14, 15, 16. <laughs> they got me, though. They got me, though. I, uh, I wasn't expecting the Crisis Core nor the, uh, the Stranger's Paradise. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, oh, they're all like pretty separated stories. <laughs> this is gonna be a silly list, and it was. It was a silly list. It was funny though. It got me. I was like, ah, ah, you got me. <laughs> I got God. <laughs> Except for ten, ten to the thirteen games. Oh well, well uh, okay. Strangers is like kind of related to one. But Crisis Core is is actually related to Seven, so I'm like, okay, all right, fair. But you know what they forgot? They forgot Strangers of Derberus, or not Stranger? Oh fuck, Surge of Derberus. Those sons of a guns! How dare they? <laughs> I've never actually played. I picked it up, but I never actually played it. It's like a shooter with a uh, uh Vincent. There's your server. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Jelton. Final Fantasy. Dirge of Cerberus. It looked neat. That's why I picked it up.
Sending the medical muggles to check for brain fart. All gone. Oh, I say he's debating on killing that one. He's like, no, nah, this robot. I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. Thank you so much. You just like run around and start killing robots and stuff. Ah, uh, Chad, the medical moogles, moogles have, uh, they've done their job and, uh, they have declared that there was in fact a brain fart in there. Potion? Get. Yeah. Vincent was chronically unflushed out in seven. <laughs> oh, in order to help stomach the graphics, the older ones. Yeah, you gotta start with the older ones, right? Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Because then, like, th then you have, like, this nice progression of, like, graphics just, like, getting better over time, whereas, like, trying to go, like, in the, the wild man key appears. Not quite. It does not quite work out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was the order of, like, story, Chad. Uh, from that, the list that I was showing off earlier. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played the, the second one. Or I haven't, like, seen anybody play the second one. I watched Alex play the first one. Uh, shouldn't. Two separate audio streams. It might be, like, loud. I, I did make him, like, sort of loud. <laughs> Minky on the cross code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, one, two, three were weird. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. What? A two was not big, Jank. Oh, just because I could hit myself in order to increase my stats. <laughs> it put me on me. I made it just brain farted. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. The little Moogle man is, he's still checking out. He's still making sure everything's working. Alright, this is one of the games I'm gonna check out today. So, Gestalt, Pinball Spire, oh, Illusion Carnival looked really, really cool. I have to think about checking that one out today. And then One Button Bosses. If I can fit all that in, that would be great. I would like that. Because One Button Bosses, after playing uh, Rhythm Doctor, could be a lot of fun. Rhythm Doctor was a treat. One button, bosses demo. One button bomb. Hold on, what? One button. No, oh, there's not a category for this one. Huh. Yeah, normally that's like. Oh. Okay. 